Hello my friends and welcome. Right now I'd like to deviate from my usual topics, which are politics and of course music. And I'd like to go on to talk about the more macabre. Course, this is something that has been on my mind for a while, and I'm sure there is perhaps at this particular moment is on your mind because, of course, <laughs> why else would you be watching this video? Well. We live in a particular plane, right? Some call it life, some call it reality. But all it is, is a just certain plane of existence. Most people live their lives without acknowledging the simple fact that there are multiple planes coexisting simultaneously as they must because without one the other could not support itself these planes coexist and correlate on another as they must, as they must, as they should, in this continuum, continuum, in which we reside, reside, which we are all a part of. All a part of. Now, now, to, to pierce, to pierce the seal of the topic that we are on right now. Do, do spirits, spirits, spirit forms, spirit forms, or spectres, or spectres as, some might call them, as some might call them, have any influence, have any influence on, our on our realm, realm on our way of being? Well, this of course can only be ascertained by the expansion of one's mind and consciousness. Because in the overall grand scheme of things, there's no reference as to what should or should not exist. Because this is the only continuum that we, as a collective consciousness, are privy to. So let us for a moment indulge ourselves 
if we may be so wantonly capricious. And say, that yes, there's a possibility that spirits not only exist, but are interacting with us at every moment of every day. And that it must be so for this reality that we've grown so accustomed to, that we've grown so attached to, if it should continue to exist in its particular form, that it must be Now. now who among us who among us has has the expertise, the expertise in this realm, this realm of, the unknown, of the unknown the unseen the, unseen, of the fleeting Darkness encapsulates all of our minds. That feeds on our collective active. Ignorance, willing ignorance, if you'll come with me, through time, through time, back, Circa first century, first century. You will see, see that certain figures such as Pliny, Pliny, who's a great poet, great and writer, writer, detailed his accounts. of experiencing the spirits, spirits reaching out, reaching out, interacting with interacting the, the material realm, material realm in, which we in which we reside. His particular case was a bit disturbing, detailing an old frail figure with a long beard in chains, attempting Tell Pliny exactly where his body lay. Now, now, this is all anecdotal evidence, and of course, unless. One amongst us has access to a 
time. Machine. You cannot actually assess whether or not these claims are valid. But the fact that there lies a common thread behind these stories, and these said experiences. Now, take someone. Is willing, is willing to put aside, put aside his foolish indoctrination, indoctrination to even consider, even consider the, possibility the possibility that we are living in a realm. When spirits actively interact with the more material beings around them. However, It's not mutually exclusive to say that the scientist and the occultist merge their goals and come together to discover the truth. Now, if you would ask my opinion on this matter. I'd be inclined to say that yes, it would be foolish to discount wholesale the multitude of accounts that we do have on file in the affirmative of there being spirit forms active in this realm we exist in. On the other hand, can we capture the essence of a spirit, of a spectre? Can it be quantified? The fact that this topic even should present itself on my milieu Is, is something to ponder, something to ponder. Of, course. of course because we cannot, we cannot progress, progress as a society as a, society. As a, people. As a people until we understand fully, understand fully the, environment the environment in which we 
are in and reside until we come to terms as a unit with what we face. Until we unabashedly go forth with the grace of the gods, of the goddesses. And discover, and discover all that is all that been left in plain sight, in plain sight but hidden for so long. So long. Yes, we do exist in the material, yes, in the material. but is there a spirit? Sort of like a shadow that is attached to the material. That allows it to function. Allows it to... Create allows it to do anything, sort of like a power source, sort of like how a computer can exist, but until you add a power source to it. Cannot, cannot compute, compute. and not complete its functioning. its functioning. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. And, and these, these questions are, questions of course, very profound. very profound. Do not expect anyone, expect to, anyone to actually Solve. Solve. The mystery of the spectres. But I do expect us do expect as, a people, as a people to acknowledge, to acknowledge that it is time to deal with something, deal with something that, that out of, out of cowardice Apathy, apathy, or avarice, or avarice. We have, we have shunned and shunned swept under the rug for, the rug for so long. So long. Sustain, sustain on, on ourselves. Our society. our society as we go forth scientifically, scientifically. boldly, boldly. Where, where no one among us no one among has gone before Let us have faith, Let us have faith. That, that, the truth, that the truth and the truth alone, the truth alone will, always prevail. will always prevail. I thank you all for being here with me. And remember, remember, there's more around us, more around us than we will ever see.
and then our five senses. Well, do they truly allow us to feel? Are they the only limiting factors? Our chains, our burdens. Until next time. Until next time. Like, subscribe, subscribe, and comment. Comment. Let's have a discourse.